Big up, big up, bless up everybody, big up all the subscribers, viewers, everybody that check me out, yo, shout out to the whole of the people that's been subscribing, thank you very much, you know what I'm saying, right about now, we're gonna talk about MJ, Michael Jackson, King of Pop, one of the greatest artists, dancers, performers of all time, right, songwriters, yeah, we're gonna talk about, did Michael Jackson sell his soul for fame, did Michael Jackson sell his soul to become the King of Pop? We want to know, so we're going to, this is what Nina Brown have to say. We're going to check out some of the narrative from Nina, and we're going to break it down along the way. See? Let me tell you something. Girl! Lucifer is the god of music. Michael Jackson is the king of pop. And I start researching what would make a man, a black man, the king of the devil's music. Because I grew up on Michael Jackson. I'm talking about that. I'm talking about that. Woo! I'm talking about that Billy Jean, not my, I'm talking about that you are not alone. I'm talking about all that. I grew up on all that. So some dawned on me and say, man, research what made Michael Jackson so big. Because if the internet would have been out when Michael Jackson came out, he would have broke the internet. And I started researching, man. And I discovered that Michael Jackson slept for days to talk to evil spirits. Just to get hit records before Prince did. Then I found out that Liberace, a well-known LGBTQ legendary piano player, had a secret affair for seven years with Michael Jackson. Liberace was satanic too. It's sad that Liberace was the one that turned Michael Jackson on to Satanism. Both Liberace and Michael Jackson was worshippers of Corey Bontis. Corey Bontis were armed and crested dancers that worshipped the goddess Sibele. That's why Michael Jackson dressed like that. That's why Liberace dressed like that. That's why they look genderless. If you look at Michael Jackson, he didn't really have no facial hair. Liberace ain't had no facial hair. That's why Michael Jackson danced the way they did because Corey Bontis, they danced and worshipped the goddess Sibele. Then I start researching and digging a little more and I say, damn, this how Michael Jackson got his whoa, songs? Whoa, 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 hold up now, Nina. This is the problem. You know, you got to remember Michael Jackson been singing since he was a little boy. Not on his own, not by his choice, but by his father. This kid was basically whooped into being a superstar, okay? Please keep that in mind, people, when you're watching and listening to all of these stories about Michael Jackson. So what we're dealing with, in my opinion, we might be dealing with somebody who got sold before he even had a chance to sell himself or try to sell out or whatever people might think. I think Michael Jackson was sold by other people i don't think he sold his soul like he that like personally i believe he was used so much and um never got the chance to um develop his own understanding of how to be a man and he pretty much got played for years that's an opinion further let's carry on oh yeah oh yeah i also like to mention you know in my opinion if you ask me i think joe jackson sold michael's soul before he even knew he had one you know what i'm saying that nigga was on the road busing coochie it really was the Jackson 6, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it was three ways that Michael Jackson got his hit songs. He climbed a tree called the Tree of Knowledge, the Giving Tree, where he'll sit there until songs come to him. <laughs> what? You trying to tell me this man had to climb a tree to get a song, bro? You trying to tell bro, you might as well make me the king of pop. Just give me a jacket and one glove, man, and just make me the king of pop then, because I could write you 10 hit songs. Without climbing trees. That's crazy, is it? <laughs> <laughs> the second way Michael Jackson got his songs is he went to a room in his house full of mirrors where he channeled spirits. And when Liberace died, he channeled Liberace's spirits and got permission for Liberace to take certain content and use it in his songs. The third way that Michael Jackson got his songs is he would intentionally sleep for days just to dream so he could channel different guards and talk to Satan. That's what caused his death, oversleeping. Because naturally, a human being can only sleep from six to eight hours. I might give you nine if you work real hard. But on sleeping medications, or if they sedate your ass, they can extend that period of time of sleep to a half a day. But Michael Jackson was sleeping for two to three days straight, hoping to get his next hit 
from the God of music, Lucifer himself, in a dream. Uh, 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 excuse me, sir. The almighty creator put that heart in your chest. That's who gave you a heartbeat. So that who is the king of music and the God of music is the almighty creator that made music and made the heartbeat in your chest. Not no Satan. Please chill with all that rumor, rhetoric, crap that y'all digged up from some European philosophy or wherever you learned it. The only king of music is the creator, almighty creator himself. Thank you. And you might wonder how Michael Jackson got them sleeping medication, how he got sedated like that. I'm going to tell you, the record labels will spend $150,000 a month to get Michael Jackson sedated illegally. And at the end of each month, Michael Jackson was sending them their money back. He didn't want no direct contact to the goddamn dope dealer. See, I done figured it out. That's what took him out. The Jackson family tried to sue the doctor, but they lost in the silver suit because it wasn't the doctor's fault. It was Michael Jackson's decision. Okay, you still ain't like convinced that this man sold his soul to the devil himself. Let's look at the dangerous album cover. He got Anister Crowley on the cover, the most wickedest man that ever walked the face of this earth. Anister Crowley is who them satanic people break to. Then he got a naked kid holding up a skeleton head. Then he got a dog sitting on the throne. Just like them satanic people got goddamn Baphomet sitting on a goddamn throne. Look like a Doberman picture man with horns on. Pure demonic. Even with the allegation of kids, the demonic sacrifice involved sacrificing innocent kids. Michael Jackson built a never layer wretch that enticed kids to come play with him. Then he was accused of fondling with one of them kids and had to pay over $20 million in a lawsuit. See, the devil will give you the world. The devil will make you a king of rap, the king of R&B. The devil will make you the king of pop. He wants your goddamn soul. He'll give you the world, but you got to give him your soul. See, he don't care about materialistic things. He don't care about Lamborghinis, diamonds, big houses. He don't care about giving you millions of dollars. That ain't nothing to him. That's all at the arms reach of the enemy. But see, what you got to understand is he know what you desire. He don't rest. He don't sleep. And he don't watch TV. He's sitting there watching you while you watching me. See, you got to think about it. Michael Jackson, to this day, is still the biggest musician to ever sing a song. But guess what? He sold his soul to the devil for a little bit of platinum and a little bit of gold. And I'm going to expose the truth. Make sure you comment below if you grew up in them 80s and 90s on Michael Jackson music. Because this really hurt my heart. I've been researching. I tend to expose all these satanic people, man, that got all this power and this fame. Like Beyonce, like Jay-Z calling himself Hover the God MC. Calling himself a God. You ain't no God, fool. Elvis Presley was a satanic. Sammy Davis Jr. was a satanic. I want you to look into all these people that got all this power, all this money, all this fame. Look at Lil Uzi Vert. He the biggest rapper in the world right now. But look what he represents. Satanism. And that's what they do. They represent Satanism. And in return, he get them all the fame they want. But he take their soul. Because the soul is more priceless and more precious than a little bit of platinum and a little bit of gold. Y'all make sure y'all comment below. Y'all make sure y'all share this video. Ah, well, who the heck is Lil Uzi Vert? Who the hell is that? How can somebody be the biggest rapper on earth and I don't even know who he is? <laughs> Yo, basically, people, let me get back into my narrative, man. Look, man, um, you know, Michael Jackson pretty much didn't have a chance to um, see his way through this industry. In my opinion, I think um, he was sold as a kid. You know what I'm saying? He was he was traded off by his own family. Father, to be exact, you know what I'm saying? I think his mama wanted to save him. But, you know what I'm saying? She couldn't do nothing about it. Once daddy got him on the road and was whooping his ass for him to dance and sing. Exactly, I want you to see Michael do it. Do it right. Go and do it right, Michael. Come on. Let me be a goddamn rat, boy. Leave that goddamn mouse alone, boy. And get get over here and do that dance, I told you. So, you know, I think he came down all the way from, from over there and he just kept on going. And Michael didn't have much control over his life because he'd been steered toward, you know, fame and the lights the whole time. He was, he, you know, they plugged him in mentally. They, he's been plugged and programmed for a long time, people. You get what I'm trying to say? So basically, he never had a chance. If you ask me, I think this man had a good soul. I wanted to do the right things and had a lot of good intentions, but he got caught up with the Satanists of the music industry. 
and they pulled him in they tricked him he got tricked by people first thing these illuminati puppets love to tell you is that they're good people they're wholesome they're not evil it's a lie, lie. For us, that's what i hear from them like directly they've messaged me i'm just going off of what i know and you always got to remember they said the devil is a liar right so maybe they got michael they tricked him maybe they tricked him over time and told him a bunch of nonsense stuff to get him to do stuff that they wanted him to do this is how the director chair works in hollywood too ain't it you know so you know I, I was never there for none of these incidents so i can't talk about it like you know nina brown got a good convo and it's very interesting very entertaining but i can't sit here and act like I, I literally was there to see all of this stuff i could just hear it and be like okay that's crazy wow wow but that's about it i cannot act like i was there so respect leave your comments and what you think people for real i need your feedback on this one tell me if you think michael jackson sold his soul for fame was he tricked and coerced into being a puppet by his father first then the rest of the industry puppets and the people who wanted to use him for whatever reason you know please subscribe like share your feedback is very necessary and important we would like to grow based on that big up and one love